This is mustard and vinegar mixed together, just table. Original forge, new forge. Put two forges together to have enough forge to heat treat a sword. Here we go. Let's light these bad boys. We just pulled this bad boy out of the temper cycle. It is a long sword, so I like to put it in a jig like this through the temper just to make sure that it keeps everything nice and straight. Ooh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh yeah, nice and nice and straight. Perfect. Oh yeah. Let's get to building. Yeah. This is mustard and vinegar mixed together. Just table mustard and a tablespoon of vinegar. And then I splattered it all over this thing. And we're just going to let it sit and etch the steel. Well, the blade came out way better than I'd expected. So I went ahead and taped it up so that I don't hurt it through the handling process. And I've picked out some handle materials. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you'll know that you see this. This is my shop, and you always see this. But what you don't see is on the other side of my shop. This is the other side of the shop. And as you can tell, we love our motorcycles. So let's pick one and go test this sword. <laughs> Looks like we're taking the beta. Let's take it out and go whip this sword around and cut something up.
Wow, that turned out awesome. That's a pretty rad sword if you ask me. It's got some cool colors. It's got the, the dark purplish blue into the green. and got some albino wood poking through there that didn't take the dye. I absolutely love that wood. The handle material was cool. I did black on the front, black on the back. Pretty simple sheath with lots of different places that you can do lashings if you want to hook this to a vest or something like that, like a mole vest. We went fully weathered on the blade. And man, did that come out cool with that mustard patina. That is so neat. Once again, thank you, Eric Rivers Experience. I did the really deep 36 grit grind, and then I did the mustard patina on that, and I think it came out wicked. Look at that balance, guys. Look at that right, right there is the balance of this knife. It's so cool absolutely perfectly balanced when you come and choke this thing up in the middle it doesn't even feel like you're holding on to anything you know it's a it's really wieldy you can slice and chop and dice and stab whatever you want to do you know it's it's real cool up here in this forward grip or you can grab it two-handed or you could even thrust it forward into that rear grip see how it works you thrust it forward so you're holding it here and you just thrust it into that and the pommel catches your hand just like that super cool really like this design this little bush sword came out awesome please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the sword that i made and i'm gonna put a video right here for you to go and watch next thanks guys